Kia ora koutou katoa e mihi ana ki o koutou o tira ki a tātou i tātou no ho rāhui a whakamoho ao. Kia ora everybody, I hope a lockdown is going well for you all. Tēnā koutou. Hi, I uh, have mā nui ngā puka puka ne. Tēnei wā, so no doubt lots of you are reading books. We just sit around with a casual display of our books every single day. No, pao. Oh. Engari, <laughs> kai te pirangi māua ki a whai wā hi ki te kōru ki a koutou. So we were thinking that maybe we could share some things that are relevant to the way that we're living currently. First of all, kia haumaru te noho. So we put up that little word there, kia haumaru te noho. Hau te tika ngō tēnā. Stay well, stay safe. Kia haumaru te noho. So haumaru is to be uh, safe and in a very protective and comfortable environment. So if you're haumaru, ka pai tēnā, that's awesome. And maybe you are in your ahuru mōwai, which is a word for safe haven. Pai tēnā kutu mm, Ahuru mōwai, so again, uh, ahuru tanga or an ahuru is a place of safety and a place of shelter and protection and mōwai is peace and tranquility. So you combine those two things together and if that's how your miru or your bubble is at the moment, then it's fabulous, fantastic. And a person can be your ahuru mōwai as well, you know, ko koe taku ahuru mōwai, someone yeah. who looks after you. Yeah. And now uh, here is a karakia that's really relevant at this particular time, but Scotty has sort of shared it, put it out to the world, ki te whaiao, ki te marama, and it's a good opportunity to have something that you've got right off the top of your head, because that's the thing with karakia, me matua, you have to remember what the words are. And so to do that, we have a bit of a tactic where you can use hand signals while you're learning, not while you're standing in a formal setting. You don't then use them, but while you're learning, you could learn these hand actions to help you. Yes, it's help. It's there to help you remember the words. So um, your hand, when you say the runga, your hand goes up because runga is up. Roro, your hand will go down because roro is down. Roto, your hand is inwards because that's inside or in and waho outside or out so those kind of things it's like using a bit of sign language hand actions to help you remember words so you would go tu taua mai runga tu taua mai raro tu taua mai roto tu taua mai waho kia tau the toe on your foot kia tau wai te mauri tu te mauri ora ki te katoa home e hui e tai ki e so just some hand actions to help you to remember but this is a Karakia, that, and people are uh, reaching out for karakia at the moment. They want a bit of uh, spiritual sustenance and emotional sustenance as well as the physical sustenance. And uh, this karakia talks about Modi. So Modi is vitality, energy, and it's all positive and it, it's all about uh, offering strength and vitality and energy to everybody so that we uh, manage to navigate our way through our current circumstances. So good, good positive karakia to use uh, at any moment in time, really. Ai, me tēnei karakia hoki. This is one that we designed basically for our tamariki ones out there doing faces in the window ones, trying to hold the phone, and he loves it, just loves it. Ai o ana. So this is about how we can think about that the sky is calm, the earth is still, all is well, and we are surrounded by love. Mai and matihiri. So it goes like this. Ai o ana te rangi, ai o ana te whenua. I want to tell Katoa. I want to tell my Atefano. It'll do it in my ye, the Mati Hiri, met the Maori or ye, Kyo, 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 the Moi. So we're wishing you a peaceful sleep and the Fano's all good and no one's having stress dreams. And we should get Stacey recorded so you get that lovely, soothing voice just before you go to sleep. But maybe something oh, that's <laughs> not so soothing is when you accidentally show too much on the group chat and that is called Amikirawa tēnā, too much information. Mm, too much information. Mm, Amikirawa tēnā. There's lots hold, of ways hold, to hold use Too that. much information, nehoa, Amikirawa, Amikirawa. TMI. So those are just some little quick phrases relevant to the times and these ones as well, I guess, when we're talking about the kupu o te wā, ngā kupu o te wā, the words that are really relevant at this point, we start to talk really specifically about things like bacteria, huakita, about a virus, huakito. So huakito corona is the coronavirus. Iroriki, germs, mare mare, to cough, <coughs> and matihe, to sneeze. And so when you cough, <coughs> mare mare, or you sneeze, tihe, or tihewa, you do it in the taho of your ringa. The taho, this part here, of your ringa. Taho of your ringa. So you go. 
Totally. And just a couple of really quick tips if you want to upsize your deal in seconds. Basically, one really important thing is to get your T's right. So if you're saying ta, te, and to, you don't have any of that sibilant sound that you have in English, the tit tit tit. So ta, te, to. Koreo mai? Ta, te, to. Tautoko. Tautoko. Te na koto. Te na koto. Toko toko. Toko toko. So it's a toko toko. Um, or tina. Tina, tina koto. Tina koto. Tina koto. Mm. Whereas with T and tu, you can have that T sound. So ti ti rangi or tu tu kaka, all of those sounds. T and tu do have that sibilant kind of sound, the sis on it as very well. Very slight one, very slight one. Pātai anō, and I guess if we're talking about some of the questions we always get uh, about Scotty's books in particular, why are there the small ones and then there's the big ones? The small ones are the big ones and the big ones are the small ones. Eritana <laughs> <laughs> ne puka puka, so these, these are actually the same book. Um, but there's four of these and one of these. So basically, this has been split into four parts, but it's, I mean, you can buy this book here or, or, you know, use this book here. That's got everything in it, but as you can see, it's quite small. So when you're writing and you want to do exercises in that, it may be preferable and you might prefer to have a bigger version. And basically it's a bigger version. It's easier to see. It's easier to write your answers. And a lot of people actually don't realize that the answers are all here, but don't look at them until, you know, you've got to be honest. Go through your mahi and then you check your answers and see if you're on the right track. So this is Māori Made Easy 2. We don't have Māori Made Easy 1 because we never managed to keep a copy of that in the house. We always give it away to someone. But basically it's the same concept. Tahi, rua, torufa. Those kete workbooks come from Māori Made Easy 1 and this is from Māori Made Easy 2. You're living in up here. You're people who are really quite good already and you're just sharpening up things like statives. But um, generally if you were just going to work all your way through the Māori Made Easy books, you've got 60 weeks of study. That should keep you busy <laughs> in, in a lockdown. <laughs> ah, uh, you'll be able to buy that soon. Uh, me tēnei hoki, uh, first words in Māori. I guess one of the best moments that I've had as an author is when a two-year-old in a cafe, she's a really bright little spark, I didn't know her, but she looked at me for a millisecond and she said, you're the lady in my Māori book. And I didn't even know that they would ever look at the lady in the Māori book. Uh, but it's really just words that you can use around the home and maybe our son, the cameraman, will pay attention and not talk to his sister right now. Hara mai koe tama, awaiki James. Hara mai te tītira te tene mai. Te tene puka puka. So just all the terms that you can use with your tamariki. And I really gave quite a few prompts so that they can help you say things that, I don't know, you might want to say. Kai te tī weka weka te nei ruma. This room is very messy. Use that quite a lot. And? Oh, and also these are quite fun as well. So these cool. are our cool. flashcards and maybe some kupu that you could use as well. Engeri ko te manui e karema ko te aroha. So really it's love and compassion that is most important in these times. And we know that books sustain our hearts and our minds. Nō reira koina te whakaaro nui i tēnei wā. Kia tuku i tēnei mihi aroha. Kia koto katoa. And what a lot of people are saying is uh, kia tu pato which is be careful, kia uh, tūpore, which is be kind, and arohaina tomiru, which is love your bubble. So, kia tūpato, kia tūpore, arohaina tomiru. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora, Wiki.